Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So I'm sure, like me, you guys have some hard drives laying around in your house. Maybe they're in a computer that you don't use anymore. Maybe they're just sitting on the shelf collecting dust. But in this video, I want to put those old hard drives to work. So let's go ahead and check it out.
Okay, let's get a hands-on with this bad boy right quick. So it's got a little button right here on the front. Looks like it has some indicator lights showing how full your system is, I'm guessing. It's got some lights on the side, branding on the front. I, I like the um, design of it. I got the power on and off on the back. That's good. USB 3.0. It's got some grips on the bottom right here. Let's see if it, there we go. They seem to be quite grippy. My whole entire desk and camera are shaking right now. Um, it's got the toaster design. Um, on the pictures, this looks way bigger. This thing is, is quite small. Um, I'll show you it next to a credit card. So it is not very big at all. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, so it has the ability to do the smaller hard drives. You just slot it right down there or the full size hard drives here. Um, but we're going to be putting this thing to the test to see how fast it works and how efficient it works and just everything about it. I'm super excited about this. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So one thing that I absolutely love is how quickly and easily you can just slot these things in like it's a toaster. Boom, in and out. But one thing I don't like is the fact that these are designed for full size 3.5 hard drives, not the half size so i'm going to try to get this on the video correctly so you can actually see that it wobbles in there because this thing does not push out hard enough to lock this hard drive in place so that that is right off the bat that's my first gripe about this thing it just you don't feel like your hard drive is super super safe in there even though it is because it's just sitting and it's not moving but this one over here is completely locked in no worries whatsoever about it wobbling or anything um, it comes out almost as easily um, and it goes in I think easier because it's the right size basically. So um, let me just show you these hard drives real quick. So you can see this is a smaller hard drive, um, maybe a newer hard drive. I'm not sure. This is an older hard drive um, or maybe maybe it's the, uh, the size. Let's see, that's a 640 and that's a 500. So I don't know. But the cool thing is that both of these hard drives were completely junk until Boomski, until I got this guy. So now I'm able to bump my, my computer up to over a terabyte for $34. I cannot say enough about this thing. Um, another thing that's amazing is um, when they are in here and you're not doing anything with the hard drives, it is almost silent. And because they sit in here whoops am i doing that wrong oh <laughs> i'm doing it wrong okay because they sit in here with this part facing up all the heat dissipates super fast so there's no need for a fan that was one reason why i did not get the other one because the other one is a four banger and they, they the hard drives completely go inside of it and need a fan to run and i already have to turn off my computer to record anything because it has a decent um the fan is it spins at a decent rate so it's quite loud um so all in all i would give this thing a five out of five stars it does exactly what it's advertised to do and it's just so straightforward i like the fact that there's a power switch back here because sometimes you're like i want to make sure i i preserve my hard drives so they're not spinning all the time um 
But another thing, another con is this hard drive is actually louder than the other hard drive. So when I go to do anything on this hard drive, I hear so you hear sounds that you don't normally hear when they're enclosed in a computer. So that was something that I was not expecting was one hard drive is going to be louder than another. But it's one of those things where um, as long as you just run the hard drive while you're not, you know, recording or whatever, um, you're going to be fine. So, it, you know, it's one of those things where you kind of have to take a hit on one thing in order to get the other. So uh, all in all, I would say that if you want to take your device from Deadsville to, you know, a terabyte of storage, you can do it. Another thing is I'll show you right now you can combine these two together and you can um, have your computer read it as one hard drive. So essentially, instead of it being a 600 and a 500 or whatever, it'll be one terabyte of storage and your computer will read it as, so, as such. So that's really cool. So you don't have to have multiple hard drive folders and whatever, you know, all that stuff. So that's really cool. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, I was going to show you how to do that, but I figured that it's easier if you just Google it, how to combine two hard drives on Mac or PC, and you'll find a quick video. It's very simple. Just uh, hit the old Goog. Okay. So yeah, I would definitely say for the price, this thing is unbelievable. You can't beat it. Um, the grips on the bottom are perfect. The uh, The look of it is is sleek and simple. The LED lights are very effective. They show you exactly when the hard drive is actually running, which is really good. Um, these indicator lights are great because they show you how full your hard drives are. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, can't say enough about it. Definitely worth it. Um, you know, especially in this time we're living in right now where money is tight and, you know, you may need to figure out a way to not buy a hundred dollar, $200, um, bit of storage instead do this, be happy, survive. All right, there you go. Hopefully that video helped you out. Hopefully it boosted your ability to have greater storage on your PC, on your Mac, whatever. Um, if you like this video, definitely smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this coming up in the future, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I just get a charge to make more videos. I'm just always super excited when I get a subscriber, and I thank each and every one of you guys. Um, but once again, I thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.